Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to cover how to import a CSV into MySQL using MySQL Workbench and also then how to see the create statements that it used to make the table to do that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a new schema. I can just right click over here on schemas, go to create schema and from here I can call my schema something that I want. I'm going to call it storms1. Go ahead and apply, close. And then once you've done that, you can just go ahead and double click on that schema to set it as your default schema, which means that any query that you run is going to be applied to that schema. And then once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and right click on it, and you're going to go to the table data import wizard. Now this table data import wizard is a great tool to be able to import a lot of CSV, a lot of other types of files. So go ahead and click on browse. And I have a file called storms.csv that I'm going to use for this example. But just find the file that you want to import, select it, hit next. Now you almost always are going to want to create a new table. So you're going to create a new table. It's going to do it automatically. You can choose what you call it here. It defaults to the file name. But you can change that if you need to. And then you can also use the drop table if exists. Since it's a new schema, I don't see much of a reason to do that. We're gonna go ahead and import this. And it's gonna take some amount of time to do this because it's importing a lot of rows of data. Uh, this particular file has a couple thousand rows. Uh, for your data set that you're using in class, you may have millions of rows, in which case, uh, it's probably going to take you multiple minutes, so don't be too alarmed. You can look at the logs and see all the steps that it did, a lot of data import statements, and you can hit next and then finish. Now that you've done that, you can go ahead and refresh your schemas list, and you can expand out your tables. And what you're going to do is look at the table that you just created. Go ahead and hit on that eye icon. And from here, gives you information about the table. You can see all the columns that are there, the data types. That's, of course, going to be useful for creating a data dictionary. But I'm going to focus today on the table create statement, which if you go to the DDL tab, that's the data definition language, you can actually see the create statement that it automatically generated for you. So I hope that's helpful for you. And I also hope you have a great rest of the day.